Starship Flight 7 is coming up fast on January 10th, estimated. But there are some exciting upgrades that you're going to want to know about on this launch. Let's take a look at some of the few. All right, starting off the list, we have the Starship upper stage upgrades. The biggest, most notable change is the structural and design changes. The, the forward flaps have been reduced in size and shifted towards the vehicle's tip away from the heat shield. This modification aims to reduce exposure to re-entry heating and simplifies the underlining mechanics and protective tiling. Next up, propulsion systems. There's a 25% increase in propellant volume. Wow. Vacuum jacketing of feed lines and a few new fuel feed lines to the system for the Raptor vacuum engines. An improved propulsion avionics module is now controls the vehicle's valves and reed sensors, all contributing to enhanced vehicle performance and longer emission capabilities. Next is the avionics and communications. The flight computer has been upgraded for more power and there are integrated antennas combining Starlink, GNS, GNSS, and backup RF communication functions, redesigned inertial navigation, star tracking sensors, and integrated smart batteries for data and power across the ship. Telemetry and video with Starlink, the vehicle can now stream over 120 megabits per second of real time, high definition video and telemetry in every phase of flight, offering valuable engineering data for rapid system iteration. That, that system iteration is, I think we all know that's, that's really critical at this point. And getting that high quality data in real time enabled by Starlink, absolutely huge. Payload deployment, Flight 7 will include the deployment of 10 Starlink simulators, quote, end quote, uh, marking the first exercise of a satellite deploy mission. So that'll be exciting because we all know that the next version of Starlink, they're going to be huge. They're going to be powerful. Uh, everyone that has Starlink is really going to enjoy those. Moving on down, we have the upgrades to the super heavy booster. They're going to reuse some of the hardware for the first time. The super heavy will reutilize uh, flight proven hardware, AKA uh, the Raptor engine from our previous flight. Uh, we're looking at catch and landing reliability. They had a few hardware upgrades to the launch and catch tower, and they are being implemented in this flight to increase the reliability of the booster catch. Uh, this includes protections for the sensor on the tower, the chopsticks uh, to prevent is issues like, like we saw last time that we really don't want to do ever again. Overall, we're looking really looking forward to these upgrades. I think all of you are looking forward to these upgrades too. Uh, these will signify a significant step in the increased reliability and performance and re reusability of the Starship system, aiming for more ambitious missions in the near future. So. Let me know what you think in the comments below and uh, look forward to see you again next time. Thanks.